The first special test for a high ankle sprain is the external rotation test. This is typically done with the patient in sitting with their legs dangling off the edge of the table. The PT is then going to stretch the affected ankle, in this case the right one, into maximum dorsiflexion and then apply an external rotation force. So there's the dorsiflexion, and then I'm going to apply an external rotation force. There you see it right there. Now the rationale of this test is that dorsiflexion widens the ankle mortis, which adds stress to the syndesmosis, that inner osseous membrane, which may potentially be injured. And the external rotation further stretches it. So a positive test here is going to be familiar pain provocation over the anterolateral ankle. Unfortunately, as a standalone test, it's not very good to rule out or rule in. The sensitivity is only 71%, so if the test is negative, there's only a 71% chance that they don't have a high ankle sprain. And the specificity is also fairly poor, only 63%. Again, if this test were positive, there's only a 63% chance that they have a high ankle sprain. So normally, the results of this test are combined with this one, which has a much better specificity, very poor sensitivity, but very good specificity at 94%. This is the syndesmotic squeeze test. To perform this test, the patient can either be seated, as they were in the external rotation test before, or they can be hook lying, as you see right here, with respect to the affected lower extremity, in this case, the right one. To perform this test, the PT is gonna begin by compressing the proximal fibula and the tibia together. This squeezes the syndesmosis between the tibia and the fibula. And then the PT is going to apply a series of these same forces compressing these two bones from proximal to distal, so working their way down the lower leg until they get to the level of the lateral malleolus, and then you just don't go below that. So it's a series of squeezes going down the leg. And a positive test is going to be familiar pain provocation. It's generally going to be felt in the anterolateral ankle region. But if that pain is felt more proximally, so maybe the pain is felt when I squeeze up top, that tends to mean that the injury is more severe. If they only feel pain when the squeeze is applied just above the lateral malleolus, so more distally, that sometimes implies that the injury is less severe. So in other words, the higher up the squeeze where they feel the pain, the more severe the injury tends to be. Okay? As we talked about before briefly, the sensitivity of this test is actually pretty poor. Uh, you shouldn't use it to rule out a high ankle sprain, but the specificity is excellent, 94%. So again, if they test positive for the syndesmotic squeeze test, there's a 94% chance that they do have a high ankle sprain. And you might even be a tad more sure of your diagnosis if they also have a positive external rotation test. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.